told me I could do any songs I want and uh, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna do all songs nobody's ever heard so <laughs> that's uh, and make myself a little nervous in the process because I never do these they were written uh, most of them either on a on a couch or uh, 
or on a or on a bench that I sit at at the beach looking at the ocean. I read an interview with Neil Young one time. They said, "What's the most important thing about a song?" He says, "Oh, the location where you wrote it." <laughs> that had never occurred to me, so I'm just letting you know. <clears throat> that's, that's the... It ain't no fantasy, it ain't no lie Walking down the road together you and I I'm sitting here thinking, tear in my eye Cause I never had the chance to say goodbye We always believed each and every way That tomorrow would be another day When we were old we'd sit together Looking back to say That we had it all It was fine, so glad you were a friend of mine But now It's hard to try Cause I never had the chance to say goodbye Everything you think you know You're gonna have to let it go When snowflakes come And winter starts to fall If I'd seen that really clear I might have done things differently That's all I know you love this spot I found Where I watch the sun go down I know you'd like these colors in the sky You're still alive inside my mind that's the best I'm going to find It'll have to do As time goes by uh, But what I might not give For just a minute of you and I Cause I never had the chance To say goodbye To say goodbye Can I have a little more monitor in my voice? Last night I sat around with my mom and dad In the old house that I always knew And we laughed, jokes, we talked and smiled Just like we always do Knock on the door, and 
Thank you. I don't think I've ever played that live for anybody, so it's quite a pleasure. Well, I sit on the bench and people are so different around the world, you know. Uh, people eat with a fork, they eat with their fingers, you know. They just, they just eat with their mouth. I mean, people, some people slurp, other people think it's not polite. Some people drink, others smoke cat, whatever the heck that is. The cultures are radically different. There are some things, however, that are sort of common to all humanity. And uh, <clears throat> I thought of one when I was sitting on the cliff watching the sun go down. out of their houses they don't know why all just looking for some place with a big piece of sky suddenly they're silent as they stand on sacred ground cause there's always magic when the sun goes down
Yes, there's always magic when the sun goes down. There's a kid on a bike, a kid on a skateboard, a kid with a dog. There's a mom with some babies and a guy who just got off work from his job. Just like since the beginning of time, strangers stand around. This is always magic when the sun comes down. It is always magic when the sun comes down. That little red dot. Sliding lower and lower That's the Creator's way of saying This day is almost over Time now to fade What's been given to you You may get another day tomorrow What you gonna do? The sky is full of colors the birds sing one last song A few stars are shining And the night is coming on You have seen time moving And the mystery you have found It's always magic When the sun goes down Yeah, there's always magic when the sun goes down. Well, uh, the horse uh, smells the barn, and he's running faster for Get Home. So it's the fifth song, and uh, this has been a fantastic event. So much fun for me, and to see uh, everybody play, it's been just a jewel. Uh, this was kind of <clears throat> thinking about recent times uh, of course there's a uh, silver lining sometimes so, Take it easy, take it slow You don't need a place to go A baby's smile, a lover's kiss It don't get any better than this Less is more, or so they say Man, that's real Find yourself a little more of less More of less is what you need More of less will set you free More of less and don't you know Now's the time to let So kick on back, give your soul 
yourself a little more of love. Bought everything a man could buy Found every way to get me high I let it go, I've had my heart It's time to watch the river run I say it's more, so they say Man, that's real So Jack, welcome. Hey, thanks Steve. God, I waited all my life for you to sing that. That was a great gift to me. Thank you. Well, I'm telling you, it's one of those things, I, I never sang that song until about a year ago, just you know, working in an uh, outdoor place here. And one night I just thought, I know this song, I'm just gonna <laughs> sing it. And when I sang it, I was like, man, I just, I love that song. It's just, like I say, it's one of those things, I don't know how you luck into writing one that you know, all the things come together. The I right wish I knew, man. Yeah, well, or no you idea. and everybody else. But it doesn't really matter why. It, it's just what happened, you yeah. know. And, so and so it's great. Then, yeah. Congratulations. Well, since uh, since I saw you guys at the Four Muses, I always yeah. wanted to either be in your band or be a part of your band and or have you guys in my band. But I realized this is better. Because if I sang it and you were backing me up, it wouldn't be as good. <laughs> and this is this was just wonderful. So I appreciate it. I appreciate this place and this gig too. Yeah, it's fantastic. Well, this is you know originally Beth had this Tuesday night thing over. And you you came to that I think a couple of times. I Beth, think I at did. The Marine Room. Yes. Is that and still there, the Marine Room? Yeah, it is. But it's they've moved out. The, it's kind of more of a. It's a different vibe. Different place. Yeah. Did you turn down the monitor back the? Did I turn it down? No. I did not. I did not. And are, am I? See, I'm seeing black. Is, that, is everything working for you? Okay. Okay. Oh, hey. hey. Okay, good. See how I told you it wasn't going to be as organized as we, we thought. But so, Jack, so first of all, how do you get a life like you got? <laughs> Which is, you actually get to be a writer, you get to spend your time seeing the world in the way you perceive it and then just sit there and make up stuff and then make a living. Yeah, I, I know about all the whole thing except the making a living. <laughs> you know, you can do everything I did. Yeah. <clears throat> I used to walk down the street when I was a kid and whistle every song I could think of. Then I, I bought a harmonica and I'd walk and whistle and play the harmonica. That's just what I did. Yeah, okay. And when it came along to making up songs, I had a friend, uh, we'd go out on the beach and get high, and he would just take his time and make up songs. And I said, eventually, I said, these are great. Should we write one down? And he goes, no, that would ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I just kept making up songs. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the wave of the 60s came along, and I was in the front of the wave because I was a little older. And I just rode the wave, and somehow I was in the right place, and songs became of value. Yeah. I had them, and people yeah. liked them. Yeah. You could do the same thing and still have just as much fun, but people maybe didn't like your songs, and so nothing would happen. Yeah. Well, so that part I don't know. Yeah, there's a, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a mystery. Yeah. It's and, a you know, mystery. of course, now it's much more difficult because people aren't looking for songs like they used to. No. I guess Nashville is a place where they're kind of still looking. 
but I think songs just in general are not as important as arrangements yeah. and sounds and it, pop music always had that aspect to it yeah. but uh, it's it's harder now I think for a songwriter to make a living at it totally I don't know how they even do it I don't either yeah, I don't know how they do it yeah well There's fortunately you got in under the wire at some point in the, in the heyday of it all my son said you know dad before your time songwriters didn't get paid Right. You know. That's and, right. And he said, "Your your songwriter get paid thing. That's just a little blip in history. That's, that's just going right. to go." And, and unfortunately, it seems like he's right. Because yeah. It's, there's not how much money in it anymore. Yeah. But there's still just much fun. Yeah. Well, you did. You actually did ride the wave. Surf was up for you. It was up. It was. Yeah. The big wave came. I was on it. Yeah. You know. <laughs> you know, I feel kind of the same way. I have, you know. I, I'd like to turn every conversation about me, if you don't mind. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but you know, for me, you know, I moved here to Laguna in 1969, and I was working in a teenage nightclub at the Cinnamon Cinder in Long Beach. Oh wow! Yeah. And uh, I was making 25 bucks a night, and my rent in the canyon for a little two-bedroom was 75 dollars a month. Oh wow! You so were living. Yeah. So three nights I paid my rent, and there was tons of places to play, uh, and not a lot of musicians. And there was just work. You could work five nights a week, and you were and you and you were a middle class citizen. <laughs> well, I kind of got distressed because uh, I still write a lot of songs, and nobody nobody wants them. And even even if uh, Willie Nelson and Bob Seger and, and uh, recorded my songs, all those people that I used to like, they're not on the radio anymore. I know. So it wouldn't make any difference. But then it occurred to me that when I wrote "Peaceful Easy Feeling" and those songs, I had. Somebody said, you know what? There's hundreds of dollars in this folk music business. <laughs> and, and I had no idea there would be any money. Yeah. And so I thought, well, really, I didn't do it for money then. So yeah. what do I care at this well, point? You know? No, I mean, that's the lucky thing. Yeah. And I mean, there's some talent involved, obviously. <laughs> but there's a lot of talented people. And, you know, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I always say that some of the best musicians I know, like Richard Steckel or yeah. all these people, they're top ten of my generation, and nobody will ever hear them. Nobody knows them. Yeah. Every town has some mystery yeah. people who are devoted to their art and not yeah. only super good, but it takes a lot more than that, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's been wonderful, though. I mean, it still is. Yeah, I know. I know. You're always down there. You go to the beach all the time. And you set up down there. I sit on a bench on the cliff yeah. down at Encinitas and spend an hour or so uh, with my guitar. Every and just day making and stuff up? Making stuff up, yeah. So That's, that's liberated. And if I don't, I don't feel good. But if I do, I feel good. And so who knows why? I think uh -huh. it's a crazy thing to do. Go sit here, get an iPhone, make stuff up. Yeah, I want to feel good. I think you got a song title there. <laughs> I want to feel good. <laughs> That's why I go. That's why I, I go like to the beach. Feeling good. I want to feel good. Yeah. <laughs> so Beth, how are we doing on time? We're good to go. You guys are ready. Okay, Jack. Okay. Thanks. No, no, we're no, no. we're going to get together this week and we'll go over all the really important stuff. So thanks, Jack, for showing up. Okay, we'll fix the world later. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs>